Welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a while. I actually have a couple videos finished, but uh, they're too long, so I'm trying to uh, edit them down to size and keep all the important information, but uh, actually having some trouble with that, so I might have to redo them, but uh, go quicker, <laughs> which is also going to be a challenge. So I'm going to make this short video real quick, uh, just to get something out there, because uh, I'm not dead. Um, and a lot of people have asked me about this. So, real quick, Ollie. Uh, the version that I use on my PC right now is uh, Ollie version 2, beta 2. Uh, really looking forward to uh, version 2's completion. Um, I don't know how long that's going to be. I talked to the author not too long ago and he said uh, it's kind of on hold. He's uh, kind of busy. But uh, a lot of people have been asking me about uh, code highlighting. Um, they go to options and they go to uh, uh, code highlighting and they set all this up and then it doesn't work. Uh, all you have to do is right click, go to appearance, go to highlighting, and select something. It's defaulted to no highlighting or in this case high highlighting. High -hiting. Um, so you just need to change it to something. I use jumps and calls. You can define whatever you want up in the appearance section or yeah, appearance section, code highlighting, um, and that's that. Um, the other thing is uh, for jumps to show you the direction and then show, draw the line for you or the landing point, sh everything like that. Uh, that's in options and it's in the CPU section. Um, right here, show jump path. Now I see it, now you don't. Now I see it, now you don't. Okay, cool. Uh, show direction, same thing. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's how it's done right there. So. Now I'm going to show you real quick in the other version of Ollie, the original version, uh, which the only reason that this is so much better than the version 2 right now is because it supports plugins, um, kind of what Ollie's all about. I would still use it right now, but I use uh, Windows 7 64-bit, and it, uh, it doesn't exactly work, but again, um, to do the code highlighting, appearance, highlighting, actually spelled correctly. Um, and select something. Uh, in here to define your own, it's in options, appearance, and then code highlighting. Uh, and here you see all the other things. You can select what it is and select the color, all that jazz. Um, for the jumps and calls, this isn't going to work. It's going to, yeah, it's going to break in NTDLL. But I can show, there we go. Okay, uh, to do the uh, jumps like this, um, this version of Ollie, as far as I know, you can't get the little carrot for the landing points, um, but you can get the jumps, which will show you where they go, and that is in, in options, and then debugging options, and then go to the CPU tab, and it's right here, show direction of the jump, which is this little thing, and then the show jump path is here, Gray, uh, while you're debugging, it'll show it great if it's not taken, show, and this shows to you know the selected like command. Um, I haven't really dug and looked to see if you can find the jump landings like uh, it labels them in 2.0 with a little carrot. Um, but to my knowledge, there's no way to actually turn that on. It's an it's an extra in um, version two. Uh, again, version two it does everything that version one does except plugins. There's some really awesome plugins out there for Ollie. Um, I recommend the original version, hands down. Um, Intel version 2 at least gets plugin support. And uh, that's really the extent of this video. A lot of people have been asking me about those two things. Uh, how do I how do I do the jump highlights? How do I do code highlighting? And that's it. That's all you have to do is right click in the CPU window, appearance, highlighting and select the one that you want to use. You know, jumps and calls in this version, Ollie just does that. In 2, it does what Christmas Tree in this does. Um, let's see. And there's all kinds of different highlighting. You can make your own. You can set the background however you want. And uh, real quick, to give you a sneak peek into uh, what those videos I was working on are, one of them deals with this crack me, and we are going to find the algorithm that is used to calculate our serial for the given name that's put in.
and then show how to create a key gen. Um, not sure how we'll write it yet. Uh, actually, the video is done, and I used Ruby, but I'm not sure if I like that because uh, not not a whole lot of response on Ruby. It's uh, it's a it's a, it's an interesting language and it's very quick and simple, which is why I thought people might like it. Um, still not a whole lot of response on it. Let me know what you think. Um, and the other video is an introduction into Ida Pro. It's another disassembler, um, kind of like Ollie, but uh, you can't really make. Well, you can. You can patch and you can make changes, but it's different and it's very helpful. Um, but uh, yeah, so one video is going to introduce you to IDA, and another video is going to be a more basic uh, algorithm searching tutorial uh, on a program that's not Visual Basic, as you can see here. It's assembly, um, so it's a little bit more cut and dry, and it's easy. It'll be a lot easier to follow. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.